let people pop on before I start. If you're entertaining, people are gonna come by and you want to have just a quick little plate of food, charcuterie, if you will, um, meats, cheeses, whatever it is you like. I wanna show you how to not be intimidated, how to quickly put together an impressive, you know, tray of food, you know? It doesn't, it's all about presentation. Hey, Michael. So, um, charcuterie, charcuterie, however you want to say it, is meats, okay? It's, it's pork sausage, it's all different kinds of meats. Um, what most people consider charcuterie is meats and cheeses and honey and nuts and berries, and that's kind of what I'm going to show you today. It's a, it's a layout that will please anybody. You just kind of clean out your fridge, see what you have on hand. Hey, George. Um, I have some guests coming today and you guys are in for some uh, a treat for later on. He's gonna do um, some signature cocktails for you guys and show you how he does them. He's amazing, my friend Sal. And then he's gonna be cooking, and I don't know what he's cooking, fish, something. So um, I will do those on my Foodie Princess page live. So not on this page. So you guys need to go after this, go to the Foodie Princess, make sure that you're subscribed. I believe you can click in the very top corner of the videos, there's three dots and it says like alert you when I go live or something if you want to watch live. Um, but we're gonna be doing some cooking videos later on today. But I wanted to show you really quickly, I wanna put out a little spread before he comes over so we can have some wine and we can talk and prepare um, to cook dinner. So what I'm gonna do, any kind of platter. I have this one, it's kind of cute, but you could do anything, any kind of, just a, a standard cutting board, a glass tray, get creative, you know? You could even cover something with like a piece of, uh, like a dish towel or whatever. I mean not like a yucky dish towel, like a linen, like a cheesecloth type dish towel, but just any kind of cutting board really looks the best. Um, a slab of marble. It was so funny when they did my marble counters, I asked them to do a couple extra pieces that they had left over, and I had them make me smaller little cutting boards, if you will, or boards to lay out meats and cheeses. So again, you want to clean out your fridge if that's what you're doing at the last minute. If you have time to shop, you want to get things like really pretty grapes. I have these like lovely grapes. There goes one, it's rogue. Oh ends up in my mouth. Um, berries look beautiful. You're looking for color. You know, I'm a designer. So you want pretty, you want it to look appealing. So what I have is I have some blue cheese stuffed olives. I have some German pickles, some small size German pickles that I just put in little ramekins, you know, just see what you have. Just any kind of interesting little um, decanters. Where I had another one. Where did I put it? Hmm, it's missing. Anyway, little jars work really cute, like mason jars. I had one, what did I do? That? Oh, here it is, this is so cute. So I'm gonna put my olives in the mason jar, okay? If, I think I had my husband open it for me so I could get it. And you just, you know, I'm gonna fish them out. I did wash my hands. We are talking earlier about stomping on grapes, you know, with your feet, so gross. I'm gonna get a spoon, because these are kind of deep in here. So it's really about presentation for your guests. You want them to, you know, we eat with our eyes first. Hey, Vinny. Um, you want it to be impressive. You want to look at this plate and be like, oh, yeah, baby. I want to get into that. Okay, so I've got my olives. So I've got pickles. Can you guys see down below or do I need to adjust the camera? I hope that you guys can see. I have, um, I can't see what you guys see. So it's, can you see down below? Hey, Robert. I'm going to get some paper towels. Ugh. So again, it's balancing color. So meats, cheeses, whatever you like. I bought um, some brie, I love brie, so I'm gonna put some brie cheese on there. And you know, go to Trader Joe's, go to Aldi's. Aldi's has some really inexpensive, I don't know what part of the country you live in, so I don't know what stores you have, but find your local, I mean, even sometimes your local grocery stores will have like a little gourmet section, like where the deli is, and they'll have some really nice imported olives and you know, specialty meats. Um, you know, you don't really want to put slices of bologna on there. Although, you know, in a bind, maybe. I don't know. I don't know your friends. <laughs> maybe they like bologna. And don't feel like you have to put the entire wedge down. I'm not feeding, you know, an army. So I'm going to cut a slice of this brie because I don't want the whole thing on there. That doesn't, that's not necessary. I'm just going to cut a nice pretty wedge and I'm going to place it. I kind of want to be towards the center because I'm going to do, um, I bought some preserves today. I bought some wild lingonberry preserves that I can't wait, to, and I'm gonna spoon them on top, and I'm actually gonna put raspberries on that as well. So anyway, get creative. So I'm just kind of trying to get my placement down. So I've got my, my green pickles on one side, my olives on the other, I've got grapes on either side. 
Um, I did my brie. Let me put my brie over here so you can get rid of it for a minute. I did a, um, I have a uh, Cotswold double um, Gloucester. It's a, it's a uh, onion and chive orange cheese. So again, it's just, it's about flavors. It's about colors. It's about textures. Um, I mean, you could do like pre-sliced cheese pieces if you want to. I just find like it's so much nicer to let people just kind of cut the pieces off that they want. Um, besides the uh, pre-done slices tend to stick to each other. Can you bring that over? Right, for the Dodger game. I with a crusty loaf of bread and a glass of wine. Is this like the best dinner ever? I agree with you, Alfred. To me, I love like just nibbles. I call them nibbles. I love that. So I'm gonna cut another wedge of this cheese. This looks delicious. Oh, it smells, oh my gosh. It smells like French onion dip. I don't know if you guys don't know, I am a fan of French onion dip, so I love it. So I'm gonna put the cheeses in the center, kind of like that. And then we'll put this one over here because we're not going to use any more of that. Um, for some meats, I have some uh, Finocchiona fennel salami. I love this. This is a Columbus brand. I get this at World Market. This has fennel in it. And it's just, it's so fresh and bright, but then it has, you know, the, like salami. So it's, it's so good. So I'm going to put some of this on here. And it comes already like in a stack. So I'll kind of do it like this. And um, actually, I'll put both on there. I think that'll look nice. To kind of layer them over. And I have some um, Calabrese salami. I'm going to put that on there. Also, Columbus. Bring it to Texas. <laughs> um, you know what? I don't know what kind of wine my husband poured me, but I'm thinking with this, like um, a northern Italian red, like a young red, is what I'm thinking. But I'm going to let my guest choose because he's quite. Uh, He's, he's, he's really, he has a very sophisticated palate. I'm gonna let him pick. I have um, the Central Coast of California sent me on a foodie tour. And I went all the way up the Central Coast, um, all the way up, and it was phenomenal. And each town that I stopped in, you know, they put me in a hotel and I ate food and I reviewed it, but they also gifted me a lot of wine. And I, I really don't drink, like, I just don't. I mean, uh, occasionally I will, like a special occasion, I'll have something tonight. But I, like, I don't sit at home and drink. So I have a ton of like really special wines. So I'm gonna let him look and pick what he wants cause you know, I don't really drink them. So why not let your guests pick? Okay, so I'm gonna do the, um, the Calabrese salami. I have some um, prosciutto and some capicola. So I'm gonna roll those up. I just think again, you're looking for everything to look a little different. So you know how prosciutto is very thin and you could take the prosciutto and you could wrap it around melon. There's so much you could do, but I'm gonna roll it just so that it looks pretty on the tray, okay? So we're looking, this is about presentation. Okay, I'm gonna put this meat over here. So I'm like surrounding my cheese with meat love, okay? So when you see it, you're like, oh yeah, I wanna dig into that, right? And they separate this because it's like pancake thin. I mean, it's just, you know, you gotta have a little love here. See, look how pretty, can you see? Put a thumbs up if you can see what I'm doing. Can you see? Thumbs up, thumbs up, there we go, got a thumbs up, okay. So this is starting to look really pretty. Just wait till it's finished, it's gonna be stunning. And this is the way holidays are coming. You're gonna have holiday guests over, even for Thanksgiving, you know, make this for Thanksgiving. If you're gonna have people coming over, you know, it doesn't have to be super sophisticated, it depends on your crowd. Um, but, you know, do a tray like this for, uh, the holidays, when you have people coming over, if you want to entertain or have a little holiday get together. I mean, you could have just this with wine and then go buy some beautiful desserts and plates, place them up on a beautiful tray and boom, <laughs> You're, you've entertained, no stress. Okay, I'm gonna do the, uh, the capicola the same way and it has a different look. It's a little, it's rounder. So I'm gonna put it on the other side and I think that's all I'm gonna do. Actually, I have one more meat I'm gonna do because um, it's spicy. I want to have uh, a blend of spicy and sweet and savory on here. I have nuts, I have pickles, I have um, blue cheese stuffed olives. So you've got cheese and olives together. So yummy. Okay, I'm going to do one more of the capicola. I love, I'm Italian, I love Italian meats. Okay, so we've got those. That's looking so pretty. And then I bought these. I have a Genoa salami, a hot soprasata, and a pepper salami, and I think I'm gonna do the, the hot sopra salsa just to have something different. <laughs> I can't get it out, I gotta use my knife. 
And this is like solid. So I'm just gonna cut some thicker, um, just some thicker pieces in here. And then um, just lay it a little bit down. So I'm just gonna cut maybe a portion like that and just cut some slices like this, okay? Don't have to get too fancy. Oh, it smells delicious. You can see the hot peppers. I don't know if you can see in that, but there's hot peppers all in there. It looks beautiful. And it's a nice contrast. I'm just gonna kind of sprinkle them over. So beautiful. Different colors, different textures. Isn't it looking pretty? Okay, what next? Let's move this meat out of the way. Oh, it's like a meat fest. And move this over so I have room for work. Um, now I want to do, I need to put my crackers on. So um, I also like to get different flavors. So with crackers, I mean, you can put Ritz out. I'm not going to judge you. Chicken and a biscuit <laughs> if you want to. But I think when you're doing something along the lines, this, this is a very expensive plate of food right here. I mean, this is probably already, you know, another grape. I, at least 25 bucks, you know, 30 bucks. So you want to kind of elevate your cracker. So I have, um, I got these at World Market. I have a um, apricot, pistachio, and brandy artisan crisp. So I like a little salty, sweet, something going on if you're gonna have a more savory meat. And then I got one that was just uh, a sourdough flatbread bite. Little crostinis, um, a big loaf of bread, like toasted fresh from the, from the, from the oven, and I like to slice it like a, like a baguette. You can brush it with olive oil and a garlic clove and just toast it up. That would be perfect. I'm really trying not to eat bread, so I didn't want to tempt myself because if there was bread on this, I'd be like a maniac eating it. So I didn't want to get that. So I'm going to lay some crackers out. I'm going to put two different kinds. You don't want to go crazy. Um, I want something that's not, you know, if you're doing something that has a strong flavor, I don't want a cracker that has a lot of strong flavor. You know, so I'm going to put two different kinds. So again, just going to kind of, you know, just kind of... Put them down, you know, arrange them, but don't get too crazy with it. Okay, I'm gonna do this one, and then I'm gonna get, this one looks delicious. I love like apricots and the pistachio, it sounds so great. And brandy, who knew? I'm gonna get tipsy on a cracker. Ooh, look, they're, they're so pretty, they're long. It's like little toasted, like little crostinis themselves. Yeah, these are perfect, I love that. Isn't that nice? I know. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's good. Okay. I also have some smoked Gouda spread. I'm gonna put in here. Mm, mm, so good. Okay, put a couple more of these on. Where can I fit it in? Here. Okay, I also wanna put some nuts on here. Um, let me get some nuts, maybe just some almonds. I have like a bunch of different stuff, but I'm just gonna put some almonds because I think almonds just kind of blend. And you're just gonna pour them on here, like literally just, Sprinkle them on, you know? The more rustic, the better. Now I want to open up this lingonberry jam. I saw this and I was like, oh, I want to eat this. And I'm going to spoon this over brie. Why? Because brie is salty and it's creamy and I love to pair something sweet with it. So you could do a blah, a blah, 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 I'm so excited. Um, a blueberry reduction, raspberry reduction. You could do any kind of jam. You could do a balsamic with fig. I mean, figs would be beautiful cut on this plate. Apple slices or pear slices are great. Uh, make sure you treat them with a little, um, oh gosh, I need my husband. <laughs> Honey. Mike, what? can you open this? I want a live video. Oh, I got it. I got it. Never mind. Okay. So I'm going to put a little bit of this lingonberry jam. Just let it kind of ooze off to the side. This is so beautiful, you guys. Oh my gosh. Isn't that gorgeous? And then I'm going to just sprinkle some raspberries, you know, just kind of throw some raspberries in here because they're just the color so bright. Isn't that so pretty? And it's nice when you're eating salty meats. I'm trying to read. Um, I'm going to put that out for the hockey game, right? <laughs> Nobody's going to be watching the hockey game. Um, you know, the colors are great, but it's about the textures too. And oh, there's a little leaf. Um, meats are salty and cheeses are salty. And so you want to pair it with enough different things that you're not going to go crazy. Mm -hmm. Another thing I want to do on here is honey. I'm going to do an orange blossom. 
If I can get it open, not to yell for my husband, kill myself here, and just try and get the cork out. If not, I'll have to do it off camera. Oh, I think I got it. There we go. And I'm just gonna, I love to pour honey in a little jar because it's so nice to drizzle honey on cheese. Oh my gosh. And I have like a little spoon, but you know, if you don't have one, just put a regular in there and to drizzle that with your cheese. And in fact, I'm just gonna go ahead and drizzle a little bit on top now because I think it looks pretty. Okay, we have that. What am I missing? Oh, I wanna do a little smoked Gouda spread. I bought that. So I always like to do a really soft spreadable cheese. It could be like a pub cheese. It could be whatever you want it to be. But I love Gouda. It's smoky, it's delicious, and I'm just gonna put that in this little container here so that you can spread that on your crackers. I know you guys are all, I wanna come over, right? I wanna show you this. Okay, so let me move this out of the way. Oh, and I have some pretzels too. I wanna to put some pretzels. But just put out, you know, I have these cute little, little cheese knives, they have a little cork on them, aren't they cute? And you just kinda, you know, just kinda lay them about um, so they can, so you can cut the cheese. I have 12 year old boy humor little knives whatever you need and voila is that gorgeous you guys I mean seriously with a beautiful glass of wine who wouldn't love that sky's the limit get what you have I mean I'm not saying put bologna on there unless you want to meats cheeses fresh fruit um, pickles olives um, you could do a like grilled asparagus even I've seen people do that like in stocks we just pick it up um, Whatever you want, nuts, sky's the limit. I like salty sweet, so you wanna have a little bit of sweet with your salt, okay? Any questions, you could drop them in the, in the comments, I'll get back to you. Go to my Foodie Princess Facebook page, cause we're gonna be going live later on today, um, doing some cocktails, signature cocktails, and we're gonna be cooking. My friend's gonna be cooking, Sal, and I'm not sure exactly what he's making, but he's amazing. He is absolutely amazing. So um, stay tuned and make sure you go to Foodie Princess Facebook page. Okay, talk to you later.